Brought to you in part by Mananoc Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene. Hey, I'm Nora, and welcome to Kids in the Kitchen. That was great, Nora. Good job. We're here. Kids in the Kitchen is happening. You're Nora. I'm Luca. You have a mushroom. <laughs> I'm a cauliflower. <laughs> Your brother thinks it's funny. He's laughing in the audience. All right. Well, we're going to be making what, Nora? Do you remember? We are going to be making stuffed portobello mushrooms, Moroccan roasted cauliflower, and zucchini noodles in garlic with breadcrumbs. That's pretty awesome. You know all that stuff? Yes. You do? <laughs> no, I mean, can you really make it? Yes. So I could go? All right, Nora is going to be starring for the new show, and she, I guess not. <laughs> We're going to be making a lot of great food, and honestly, most of the time, when I was a kid and I sat on the counter, my mom would tell me to get off. But since it's our kitchen, we don't have to. Right there, bingo. All right, you know what? So let's get cooking with Kids in the Kitchen. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you that quiet before. How you doing? Good. Yeah? You checking out my new my set? You like it? Yeah. All right, come on over here. Let's talk about what we're making today. We're making the uh, <laughs> stuffed the stuffed mushrooms, right, with asparagus, Yum. red onions, and we're gonna put some cheese in there, and then we're doing the cauliflower, but we're gonna roast Yum. that with like curry, a little bit of sugar. It's really yummy, really <sighs> easy too. And then the zucchini noodles, one of my favorite things. All right. So let's get started. Nora, those. grab the asparagus. You grab the asparagus. I'm going to start cleaning asparagus. our mushrooms. Yep. Okay. We're going to grab the asparagus. What I'm going to need you to do is we're going to cut them up nice and small. So you're going to just hold it. Leave Are them. they been washed? They have been washed, yes. Great. They have been washed. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't leave that on. Okay, take <laughs> it off. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your hand here, right? Okay, and I'll Not both of them. Now. Okay, no, you're good. <laughs> yeah, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut me up small pieces, but you're going to go like right here. Okay. Like boom, boom, boom. But keep your hand here. Just come Great. down. All right? Actually, we'll only use half of it. <laughs> How about there? All right? I don't, oh, wait, wait, oh yeah, first we gotta do something your brother did. Look at mom and dad. Mom and dad, repeat after me. Mom and dad. Mom and dad. I may be your first child. I may be your first child. And your favorite child. And your favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you both very much. And I love you both very you much. You actually have to look at them and mean it. And I love you both very much. Nice, I like that. <laughs> um, however. However. If I hurt myself on the show. If I hurt myself on the show. By using a knife. By using a knife. It is not Luca's fault. It is not Luca's fault. Oh no, you gotta look at them when you say it. <laughs> and then, are they okay with it? She's kicking me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, all right, perfect. There you go. That's our disclaimer. Uh, the legal department said that's all I needed to do. <laughs> all right. Okay, so cut, cut away, have fun. Perfect, you're gonna do great. Small pieces like this. Small pieces, perfect, that's what we want. She's taking up the whole board. I'm like over here right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. No, don't worry. You're doing great. All right, so you do a lot of cooking at home too, right? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook at home? Actually, one of my favorite things to do at home is great zucchini. Great memories. zucchini? Great zucchini. You make zucchini breads? Zucchini po um, pasta with mint. Really? I love that it. sounds yummy. Oh, my God. I so love do you it. make the, the zucchini goes in the pasta or the zucchini is... The Just zucchini like kind of and the mint are the, are the sauce. Nice. Yeah. That sounds absolutely delicious. Okay, that's perfect. That's all we need. Because I, yeah, I, yeah, perfect. It's all I need. Yeah. yeah, great. Yeah. Well, this, now I'm going to show you something really cool. One of the things, two things I'm keeping. I'm going to keep these asparagus. Now, if you okay. eat a lot of asparagus at home, especially, veg, you know, because you have a lot of vegetables at home, oh, this is great to make asparagus soup with. Ooh. The stem part here, Sometimes too tough to eat, right? Do you know the little trick about asparagus, about where to break it off? I'll show you. So you have a whole asparagus. You know how to figure out where the tough part is? Just start bending it, and it'll snap where it's supposed to. That means this is more tender. This is a little woodsy, 
It's still okay, but it's a little woodsy. But this, all of this, this tougher part, is great for soup. Now what I usually do with it for soup is I'll take it, I'll grind it up, like in a blender, chop it up, then grind it with a little bit of lemon juice and onion. <laughs> is someone behind us? <laughs> no. A little lemon juice and onion, right? And then I'll put it with, vet with water and I make a stock out of it and then I make soup from it, so. But can we work while we talk? Yeah. We <laughs> yes. It's only a half hour show, Luca, what are you doing? All right. <laughs> All right, there you go. Great. You know what a typewriter is also, I take it, huh? Yes, I yes. do. Your brother was just on our show last week. I do know what a typewriter yeah. is. You do know what a typewriter is, that's perfect. Sort of like a computer, except the old-fashioned. Old-fashioned computer, there yes. you go. All right, so in the that other we're gonna be... That writes that, Exactly, and you know what we, you know how we couldn't delete, we couldn't use a delete button yeah. or backspace? We used to have to use whiteout on it. You know what whiteout is? Yes. Yeah, it kind of takes, gets rid of mistakes. Yeah. All my, all my Ooh, stuff in college, when I used to do a, a project or everything, it had more whiteout than it had paper on it. I'm not the only one. Parents at home are going, yeah, I know that feeling. Right, so we're going to cut an onion in this for, for this too, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to cut two slits in. See where my fingers are never around the onion? I mean yep. around the knife. And I'm going to come down. This is how you get uh, basically a little uh, a small dice. Wow. And then it all comes down. That's great. It's like magic, right? Yeah. First thing they teach you in school. All right, so we have some onions. <laughs> <laughs> we have some onions. Yeah. And we have some asparagus that we're going to yes, be making. Do? For our stuffing, a little bit of oil in the pan. The oil in the pan. Oil in the pan. On the nope, wrong pan. <laughs> wrong pan. All right, I'm gonna need you to put the asparagus and the onion in there for me. Okay. All right. So I got a cool way to do it. Wow, that's making a lot of noise. Yeah. Let's do this. Ooh. Take this. Put them on here. It's perfect. Lift and bring over. Okay. You do that perfect. with that. Perfect. All right. All right. We're gonna start sautéing this down for our stuffing, and per great job. I'm just so gonna put we, the, la the, the last part. What's that? Again. There's still more. There's no, no, more. I'm not worried. Can we can we work while we're talking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did say this was gonna be one of my favorite shows. I was so excited to have you on today. Thanks. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> I'm glad I could be of help. Let's turn this up a little bit higher. All right, you're gonna be in charge of making sure this cooks okay. down for us, all right? Great. So start mixing that up till it gets nice and. Can we turn this down just a little okay. bit? Okay. Because that's getting a little too high. All right. While you do that, here. You forgot this. Here we go. Luca. <laughs> She's telling me what to do. What do we have to make next since you're doing that? I don't know. I don't either. All right. So, <laughs> so we do have to clean our mushrooms a little bit, right? Yeah. So it's just a matter of just kind of taking a, a towel. I know we, with your brother we used a little brush. But this is a, just a towel. A little bit damp. Totally. It's fine. And you just want to wipe them off. They do grow in the ground. Right. And they grow with stuff. We won't talk about what they grow around because <laughs> the people that know where they grow already know, but that's still all healthy. It's kind of better than half of the stuff we put in our bodies anyway. All right, so we got our mushrooms. A lot. So what, what kind of stuff? You know, did we talk about what you cook at home? Did we talk about it while we were here or was, were we off the air? No, we did it here, right? Yeah. You like cooking the, uh, the mint and that stuff. Zucchini and yeah. that kind so of thing. So do, do you do a I lot also of really, I also Yeah, I also really like to help mom make... Um, Stir fry. Really? So what do you put in your stir fry? Oh, mix of vegetables. So different vegetables. So yes. you do something like this sometimes? You sort of. Have your vegetables in the pan. So here we have salt and pepper, right? Salt and pepper. Do we want to give it a little Moroccan flair? Sure. Well, that's funny because I just happen to have a Tajin Moroccan spice blend here from? Lucas. Whoa, look at that. Hi, man. It's amazing. So anyway, this is great. great. It's got like cumin, coriander. Yum. Kind of feel to it. You're gonna Ooh. love it. There you go. A little bit more. I love spices. Do you? Okay. Yes. And you try? Do you try different spices and different things all the time? Yes. All right. So you saw me on Guys Grocery Games too, didn't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. What are you thinking? Did you Did you like it? Yeah. So you, did you have a favorite part? The bag swap was hilarious. The bag swap. Yeah. Kind of. That got me going. You know, Ooh, and, it's called the mince bag. Commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> if only I knew, but it doesn't matter because I didn't have to know. And you know what I wore in honor of, well, you picked it out, but I wore it in honor of being on the show. This is the shirt and the hat I wore on the show. Yeah, I've noticed really that like that's that. the hat that you wore on the show. This is what I wore on the show. It's pretty cool. The only thing that's missing 
is that on the show, I wore shoes that were tough to run in, but now I get my sneakers from Ted Shoe and Sport because he has the best sneakers around, so I, I make sure I have them on all the time. So now I could run. Yeah, I'm wearing Watch. my sneakers too, but you're not running anywhere. <laughs> 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 I have my, my sneakers on too, but I got them when shopping down. Okay, down. <laughs> we're all, all of a sudden we're giving out our shopping sneakers. All right, so our Portobello, what I have I'm not here, pretty sure that people can't exactly benefit from my shopping secrets. Shopping secrets? They, I got them down in Alabama. Oh, okay. Well, they <laughs> when I was on there. February you vacation. You never, you never know. <laughs> All right, yeah, so let's, let's let that finish really cooking like down. That's perfect because that's going to be great for our stuff. Mm, caramelized. Um, getting caramelized. That's right. That's where the natural sugars are coming out. Let's I love caramelized on. onions. That's I've never heard that before. Let's put that over here so it doesn't totally burn. This is absolutely beautiful. You're cooking yeah. it down exactly where we want it to be to make it great for that our stuffing. Right. We're going to add a lot of cheese to that too. The other thing Yum. we're going to start doing, what I need you to do on this side of me, come back on over great. while our mushrooms are cooking down. <coughs> I'm going to have you break apart our cauliflower. Okay. I'll get the, the main part off, but you're going to start breaking down our cauliflower into pieces that are edible. Now, most of the time people roast cauliflower in the oven or they boil it. You like my cool garbage can? Isn't that awesome? Because you can just like totally just throw it right in. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Just fly it right in. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm a huge fan of cauliflower. And when you get I this kind of curry too. cauliflower, most people roast it in the oven. We're gonna roast it in a pan. So yes. what I'm gonna have you do is kind of just naturally break it apart. But you can cut halfway. So you get pieces that maybe a little bit smaller like okay. that, okay? Great. So that's where I, I know what edible get. size is. You know what edible size is? Sorry, I didn't mean, how old are you anyway? 11. You're 11. What school do you go to? Fuller. Fuller? And then you go to middle school next year, huh? I am going to, be awesome. going to middle school next year. And you love cooking? Yeah, I do. Absolutely perfect. All right. One of my best friends love cooking too. Really? Yes. Well, when you go to middle school, you'll get to meet my daughter next year. And she's been on the show too, and she's a big fan of cooking. And she's a big fan of mine too. Did you know that? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, so we have our mushrooms cooking down. Our stuffing's working. Nora's working on our edible size uh, cauliflower. When we come back, we'll put all those together, start getting it working, yes. get the asparagus and stuffed mushrooms in the oven. So don't go away. We'll be right back. And Nora, you're doing a great job. Thanks. High five. Good thing she didn't use the knife. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm here with Nora. Oh. Hi! Yes! Okay, you're excited. I like it. Yay! High five! <laughs> mm -mm. Did you? That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a couple of things. Ready? All right, so I need that spatula real quick. Spatula? I lost all my oh, this there, enormous. This, a, this enormous spatula. Thingy I'm gonna of a spatula. I'm going to flip over. I started Ooh, cooking. Oh, those are black. Aren't they beautiful? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the stuffing for this. Ready? Great. So I'm just going to take some cheese, mix it in here. Because this is going to melt down together. So we have the caramelized uh, onions, right. the asparagus together. We're going to add a little bit more salt and pepper. Right? Okay. And now I need you to mix that up with your hand. Because I'm not doing it. Ooh, that's warm. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I thought it was too hot. <laughs> all right. How's it going? Yeah, you did all right? Yeah. You need to... <laughs> There you go. No, I got it. You got it. She's awesome. What a trooper. Was it really warm? It's pretty warm. We'll but Let me see. No, I'm not going to eat it yet. <laughs> All right. Good. Perfect job. Here, the hand. This is to wipe your hands down. I'll wash my hands. You will. No, you're not going to be able to do it over there. <laughs> Just wipe them down. That doesn't work yet. <laughs> but look, I'll show you real quick because we'll go to a break real quick and then we can wash our hands. But I'm Yum. just taking these and I'm going to pop them right on top of here. Now, it's oh really, God, see, this, this is so simple. What I want to do is, you know, you can make this stuffing more complicated if you want, but why, right? Because this is like having a steak, a whole steak dinner right here, but without the steak, you have it with. Right. Now we're going to pop it in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes, Great. 400 degrees, and that's gone. Wow. While that's cooking off, what we're going to do is start oh. our cauliflower. Great. All right, I'm going to put a little oil in the pan. I'll start really with nice. some oil in the pan. Start with some oil in the pan. I'm going to need the cauliflower. Cauliflower. Pop it in there. Be careful it doesn't jump too much. Just slide it in nicely. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go, go. Good job. Pan's 
to. Excellent. Happy. Okay, that, was, that felt like slow motion for a second. Oh, that was like, awesome. The pan gonna, was really <laughs> heavy for me to be holding it with one hand. All right, I'm going to have you do uh, salt and pepper in there. How about that? Salt and pepper? Yeah, so, yeah, a couple of pinches of pepper. Pepper? Yep. Kind of sprinkle it around, like get fancy like it, like they do on the TV shows. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's got the flair. Do you see that? I just, oh, that, okay, that's enough salt. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to let that sear down a little bit. Now, here's the key. The idea behind, here you go, you could use that. <laughs> I'm going to move this back, guys, just so you know. I just moved that on you. Sorry about that. Um, what I'm going to do is let it saute a little bit. But Great. the other thing I'm going to put is some vegetable stuff in here. Can I? Now, when, when people cook it in the oven, you cook it for a long time, right, and it gets nice and tender. But if you try to saute it, it's going to take forever. But what we're going to do is poach it a little bit. But this but this will be gone. This vegetable stock will be gone because it will evaporate. So we're going to allow it to poach to soften, right? And we're going to put wow, that on there. Wow, that steamed up. <laughs> and that, yeah, and it's going to get nice and hot and steamy. And that's going to be, it's going to come out perfect because then we're going to add the spices, oh, yeah. the curried spices. It's going to be a piece of cake. I love spices. Her, see, she loves the spices. It works out for both of us. Now, you and I are going to start getting ready for our zucchini. How's that? Yay. So this is what we need Great. to do. You're going to take the zucchini. I'm going to take the squash. Okay. And let me sneak ahead. And you're going to try and make them as long as possible. So almost like a, a noodle, like a like your brother's show. Yeah. There you go. You got it. You got it. Great job. Look at that. Love the way that came out. <laughs> and we're gonna yeah, that's perfect. And we're gonna put them in a nice little pasta pile. Now, if you have anybody who, or friends or people you know that are gluten free, also, this is a great dish to make at home if you're gluten free, because you can it it kind of comes out like a pasta, but ultimately. It's all vegetables, so this is a great vegetarian addition that goes wonderful if you want to put it with any type of sauce. You know those sauces I made with your brother? Yes, I on do. His show? You could actually use this as the pasta instead. It cooks quicker, and again, you're using vegetables, you're staying healthy, and it's a great way it's to go. It might so. be even healthier than, actually it is even healthier than pasta. Sure, and it's a lot easier than making zucchini pasta. So, so we'll go a little bit into it. Perfect. So she's going to get that done. Here we have are, look at that, that's kind of boiling. It's going to start evaporating yeah. once I take the lid off. Our cauliflower getting soft, and then it's going to start roasting in the pan. And then we're going to cook our pasta, which will take seconds, or our zucchini, as we like to say. And there we go. So we're not too far away. You good, Nora? Yes. You want to tell everybody we'll be right back? We will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. That's it? That's all you got? <laughs> give, him, give it back. Oh, I should kick me again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, so you smell that cauliflower? Doesn't that smell wonderful? <sighs> we haven't even done anything to it yet. This is so cool. We're, I we're know. making. I love spices. I love, me too. We're making stuffed mushrooms. Maybe we should check the stuffed mushrooms real quick, huh? See, that's well, the reason I love being vegetarian because I love all these healthy, yummy stuff. Oh, perfect. Well, we have our stuffed love mushrooms it. right love there. It. Look at those. Those are beautiful. One for me, one for you. Besides, I have, getting any. I have so many opinions about that. And I must say, in, in the long run, it's made me a better person. Being a vegetarian? Yes. Or just being on my show? <laughs> being <No>. a vegetarian. <laughs> okay. It made okay. me a, little, a lot more respectful to the environment and made me um, um, care a lot more about healthy eating. And it's like, it's gotten me, given me a lot of self-confidence because I stand up for a lot of people. High five. Come on around. Let's get some cooking done. Yeah. Great job. I'm so happy for you. All right, here we need breadcrumbs. So you need, oh, yeah, we're going to toast so our breadcrumbs right, real quick. Great. We're going to put a couple of handfuls in there. I gotta be careful we're not gonna burn them. But toasted breadcrumbs, <laughs> I like messing with your hands, don't I? Go back in, all right. It's a half hour show, slow motion time. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our breadcrumbs in here. We gotta make sure they don't burn, but they toast just a little bit, all right? I'm gonna season them with some salt and pepper. What you're also gonna make for me is you're gonna come around and you're gonna put a couple of teaspoons of this curry spice in there. Let's shut in that In the breadcrumbs? Yeah. No, right in oh. here, remember that? Yeah. Remember we talked about that a little bit? Yes, we so did. So we're going to do some curry spice. Okay, I shut great. the pan off. We're going to let that finish cooking is. So we're going to put that curry spice in here. She has a spoon to mix it with. While she does that, I'm going to get our, okay, two of those. Yeah. Great. Perfect. And sugar. Sugar. One sugar. Okay, grab your big green spoon. 
and you want to start mixing that around, yeah? Right. You want to make sure they Ooh, all Ooh, that's a hot handle. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Ta-da. It's not hot anymore. Here you <laughs> go. I'm going to do a little olive oil in this back pan. We're going to make our aglio olio, or oil and garlic sauce, right? Good job. Get it all on there because we want to pan roast those. We put a little bit of... Ah, uh, those smell good. We put a little bit of vegetable stock in there when we started. And the vegetable stock allowed the, uh, the cauliflower to poach a little bit so it got nice and soft. And then when it evaporated, now we're letting the pan do the roasting in there. And with these seasoning, these flavors on them, this is a curry spice blend. You can just buy just any spice blend that says curry or make up your own. With that, those flavors on there, they're going to just stick to the cauliflower and it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Smells good? Yes. Doing all right. We have salt, pepper, curry spice. We have the vegetable stock with a little pinch of sugar just to enhance the sweetness of it. Right. Back here in this pan, I'm roasting some roasted garlic. Great. <laughs> some roasted garlic. It's already been and, pre-roasted. You know, and pre-roasted, <laughs> yes. I'm going to add my salt again. and pepper. And this is where we add our pasta, right? What's our pasta? But the zucchini noodles. And that's all we have to do is add those in there. We're going to let that cook down just Ooh, a little God, bit. Oh, God, those are so good. And these cook really quick because they're, we, we also don't want to lose all the natural nutrients, so we're not trying to cook these twice. They're, they'll saute in here. We're going to exactly. keep them close to whole food mm, as possible. Healthy. Healthy eating, that's right. And when it's in season and... <laughs> When it's in season and you're doing gardening, your own gardening, yes, it's great to grab your own zucchini and squash out of there. Look yes. how great you made those. Those look delicious. Cauliflower is nice and healthy for you, but we're bringing a lot of flavor to the table with no fat or anything in there, right? Totally. Oh, wait That's where spices come in. They're so good. Exactly. And they just add a ton of flavor. Let me turn this up in the back a little bit. All right. I hope I got the right one. There you go. <laughs> All right. This is cooking down. So let's start putting our dish together. First Good. things first, let's make sure we've toasted our breadcrumbs. Those toasted. Our yeah, we'll just get them just a little bit more. Okay. And the toasted breadcrumbs, uh, you'll find in a lot of Sicilian dishes where they do pastas and just top them with toasted breadcrumbs to give it a, like a texture difference. And that's texture. what we're going to get to do right here. Yeah, textural. But it makes a difference. It does make a difference. So let me get our mushrooms. Check out our mushrooms. Look how cool they are. <gasps> Going back. Coming back. Does these look good? Those look perfect. perfect. Yeah, you're all set there. All right. Great. Look at that. That's all done. All right, I'm going to have you take care of putting that on our plate for us. How about that? Okay. Just be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Or me. <laughs> more importantly, me. I still have to film one more show. <laughs> you already said to mom and dad it's okay if you get hurt. All right, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Garlic I didn't necessarily say it's okay that I get hurt. You didn't say that? You said it was okay. I said, I said that it wasn't Lucas' fault if oh, I get okay. hurt. <laughs> it's not my fault. All right. <coughs> Look at this. This looks so awesome. You made a great meal here. Oh, my God, yes. Oops. Oh, I'll get that one. That's okay. Can't make any mistakes in here. I love that, that smell of the curried spices, right? <sighs> that really is incredible. So we're going to take a little of our breadcrumb over our yeah, pasta. Yeah, it's falling off. You want some cheese too? Sure. Sure, why not? I'll Let's have some fun. I'll get that. Mm -mm. The ones that fall off are usually mine. <laughs> <laughs> we got the cheese. We need some forks. Forks. Some great flavors, all using great spices. Of great. Really simple, and it's a quick dish. I mean, we could even make it while we're filming a TV show. It's almost got a little bit of spice to it. Uh, mm. What are you having? What's the first thing? You, oh, one of those? Aren't those good? Are they hot? <laughs> <laughs> Did you burn your tongue? Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to say goodbye? <laughs> Not yet. You, you keep going. I'll, I'll keep talking in the meantime. All right. You are probably one of my favorite people. Thank you so much for being on. I had a blast today. I love making the mushrooms with you with the asparagus and the caramelized onions. And you made the cauliflower with the curry, and you're still hot. <laughs> and we made the pasta together. It's so easy to cook with your kids and have a lot of fun with them. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Hey, we'll see you next time on Kids in the Kitchen. Great. Take care, everybody. Have fun. Oh, wait, high five. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs>
Brought to you in part by Monadnock Flooring and Decorating, offering quality sales, service, and installation for over 35 years on Production Avenue next to Subaru of Keene.